Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, so here's what we're looking at for the rest of your day today as we get ready to put a bow on the end of the work week. More of the same, scattered showers and some sun breaks. We haven't seen a whole lot of sun breaks today, but we have seen the scattered showers out there. Uh, those will continue through this evening. Cold front now basically stretching its way just to the east of Seattle, slicing through the middle of Oregon, back off towards the Rogue Valley. That's where we're getting some uh, little uh, convective activity, a little regeneration of showers just offshore. There you go, right across the border and towards Gold Beach. That's where we're seeing the back end of that front. And again, it's pulling in all this cool, unstable air. So that will not only bring a chance for some isolated hail tomorrow with some of the showers, but also could see an isolated thunderstorm or two. We'll keep a close watch on that. We'll also keep temperatures very cool. In fact, we'll likely be dipping down to the low 40s tonight and probably not only getting into the mid 50s for highs again as we head towards your tomorrow. So kind of spotty showers out there now. You see some outside of Philomath moving up into the coast range out towards Mary's Peak, for example. Also looking at dry, but it's still it's just kind of soggy around town right now. Eugene Springfield area further south down to Roseburg. Seen a few peaks of sun. Temperature has been a tad warmer today. And then some uh, decent snowfall out towards the uh, southern Cascades. Here's what the passes look like right now. A couple of things to watch. One, you notice the roadways are still wet. And that is because the temperature is above freezing into the upper 30s at both the Willamette Pass and up towards the Santium Pass right at 34. You see some of the snow, kind of a slushy snow. This is what we'd expect up towards April. April. You get above that though, seven, eight thousand feet up towards Mount Hood on the glacier, for example. It's all coming down as heavy snow, and that is why avalanche warnings are uh, being extended as well for mainly the northern end of the Cascades. Lane County Cascades, that doesn't include us. 49 in Sun River right now, 58 in Eugene, cooler in Corvallis and Cottage Grove to the uh, central south coast. Everybody holding right around 53, 54 degrees in overnight tonight. I'm going to keep a mention of some isolated to scattered showers at times, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures cooler because guys was this front zipping through. We still have this big, nice little trough of the jet stream. That's that pull down from the colder air. And as the jet stream continues to dig southward, you can see where that front extends off of Northern California. It just pulls in all that colder air. Now, this is the next storm developing. That is the one that will be moving through Saturday evening. But we'll get kind of a, we'll call it a drier window, basically, by late tomorrow evening. Here's what it looks like as we go overnight into tomorrow. You're still seeing some of those showers rotating around. Kind of a break by Friday night. And then there's the next front sliding through. So most of our Saturday should be dry. I don't think we'll see a lot of sunshine with that and it won't be very warm, but at least we'll get a chance to kind of ring things out before we'll see the next system move in. But wait till you see what comes behind that for next week. Just check out seven day in a second here. All right, for the Umpqua tomorrow, we'll see showers, partly sunny skies. Temperatures will likely sit in the mid to upper 50s. In the Cascades, that'll translate to snow at about one to two inches. And again, snow lines low at 3,500 feet, mid to low 50s out towards the foothills. In central Oregon, upper 40s, slushy isolated snowflakes mixing in with some of the isolated showers. And in the Willamette Valley, scattered showers. Sun breaks might see a clap of thunder try to slide on through the afternoon. We'll have to see how much sun we can get through the clouds. And then look either there as we get towards next Tuesday and Wednesday, start to see some sunshine and much, much warmer temperatures. 50s for the next couple of days, and then we start to see the warm air take hold. Tuesday, Wednesday, we could be pushing into the 70s and maybe near 80 degrees for folks down in Douglas County. The Cascades, that'll mean the snow will be gone, and we'll be looking at mid to upper 60s. And look at that. As promised, yes. we could be looking at possibly Wednesday, our warmest temperature of the year so far. Now, some of the computer models are trying to push us to 80 degrees and above. I'm not going to go Let there. Them. Yeah, I'm not going to go there just yet. It's my face. We'll change too. that. <laughs> but we'll see. We're going to watch All it right. real close. It'll be super nice. All right.